Hey guys, just want to give you another update on the electric truck and I've been fighting the Honda CRV I booster and master cylinder for the last couple weeks. Um, no progress really. I've replaced the master cylinder. I determined that it was bad, but still the problem that I'm having is that when the pedal is fully engaged, it wobbles or pulsates. So there's so much stuff that was done here to adopt this this setup to the truck that there's a bunch of unknowns and um, maybe i just have air in a system that i can't get out i've tried all sorts of combinations i've tried blocking off the rear brakes and only running the fronts because this is designed for disc 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 in the front disc in the rear i believe in the crv this old truck has drum brakes in the rear, so I wonder if one of the issues is that this tiny cylinder is too small. Let me show you how this Honda CRV master cylinder compares to what was really on here, okay? So this here is a Chevy um, master cylinder. Granted, this one here is designed for drum drum. The, uh, the one that is disc in the front and drum in the rear is very similar. Uh, you can tell the difference in size. And actually, this is the bad master cylinder that I removed. It's identical to that one. So I removed it, and you can see here um, the piston in the Honda. CRV master cylinder, I believe is about an inch. And I believe the one in here for the disc drum setup is inch and a quarter. So I think this system is just not displacing enough fluid to engage the brakes before bottoming out and causing the eye booster to wig out. But I don't know. What I do know is what I'm gonna do about it. So to fix it, or at least troubleshoot it further, I'm going to do what I do best and basically throw money at it. All right, let's head out to our outdoor brake testing facility and I'll show you what I have in mind. Not all heroes wear capes. So over here on our test bench, what we have is a second generation iBooster. This is from a Honda Accord. And we have the iBooster, the master cylinder, the remote reservoir, and even the pedal. So let me show you what I envision. I basically want to set this up on the bench with the stock Accord pedal. So it's as OEM as it gets, short of the actual brakes. And I'm going to try to bench bleed the master cylinder and get all the air out of it. And I'll also bring a car battery out here and I'll try to connect it and wire it up. And um, we'll see what happens. Okay, guys, I decided to do this on camera. This is going to be the headless horseman assembling this giddy up here on the test bench. And I'll just start working and you'll see what I'm after here. That side is wonky. Great. Seemed like a good idea. So this, this will hold it up. The problem is the brake pedal is, you can tell it's kind of wonky offset to the side. So, oh. Set like that. 
one side fits beautifully and the other one not so beautifully. I think I need to bend that side out. This may not be as serious as I thought, so let's see if we can make a little correction here. Nothing that can't be fixed with a proper adjustable hammer. Okay, some gentle persuasion. Let's see how we're doing here. Now, ah, fits like a glove. Of course, it looks like the pedal may interfere when we go to apply it. I may need to move the stand to be back instead of forward. All right, here we are back at it again. Hopefully this will start resembling something soon. Hopefully this is the right size. So we want to torque these down to as hard as you can, plus a quarter turn. All right, guys, we're back. I moved this leg back more. So there's uh, the only thing that this is interfering now is the bench. But I want to take this time to let you know that this particular kit comes with these adapters, making it very universal. It works with both foreign and domestic automobiles. So it's really a nice piece of kit, as you say over there in Europa. Okay, so we're going to use these adapters, these shims, if you will, and we're going to shim it like so, and this should allow us to do something. Actually, maybe go at an angle here. Let's try this type of deal. Hopefully that has some clearance. Clarence. Safety first. Man, brake cleaner is nasty stuff. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's sturdy. Okay. This is now bottoming out, stopping where it needs to stop. So, at this point, um, I'm going to bring out the electronics. Um, I wonder if I may need to set this up a little bit differently so we have access from different sides. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to move it here. I'd like for you guys to be able to see all the different angulators of it. Okay, guys, I'm quite uh, pleased with this setup. Um, it has all the clearance, and I can uh, go at it from the front here. and. It looks really close, but I assure you nothing here is touching. So I'm getting full mobility of the pedal. And the interesting thing is that it's, it's really firm from the get-go. 
like right away um, there is pressure. Usually I'm, I'm used to pedals having a little bit of kind of free play. I think this is how it's mounted in the vehicle, just sandwiching the firewall. So maybe a thickness of like a sixteenth of an inch. Um, I'm not sure if there's any spacers in there. I didn't see any in the car. I'll show you some pictures. And then here we can look at the uh, plumbing of it. Um, I need to figure out what these are and see if I need adapters for them. I'm sure these are metric and these, these probably are metric as well and probably fall in between like the uh, American sizes, but I'll see how that works out. Uh, wiring is next. I know that the Bosch big plug fits in here. I already tried it. The small sensor plug is different between Gen 1 and Gen 2. And I don't have that plug. I might just do blade connectors on there temporarily. I'm going to check EV Creates. That's Lars's website. He's the guy who did an amazing write-up on all this and pretty much everything I know about the iBooster. I've learned either uh, from him or my friend Arthur. Um, Arthur has converted a beautiful Jaguar to electric using a GS450H Lexus transmission and he's using an iBooster on it out of a Honda I believe but he's using his own Jaguar master cylinder. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna go check out on the wiring and maybe either do a part two or continue on in this video and hopefully get this thing working on the bench.